Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down. I'm glad that somebody pointed this out. I am going to share a tip that I used to be more transparent to my bridal party. Before I got engaged, I was a bridesmaid before, and I wasn't fully aware of all the costs and expectations associated with being a bridesmaid. I felt very insecure doing this, but I'm ultimately glad that I did, and that was include a letter of what I expected for my bridal party. And I just put it in this cute little envelope and included it as part of the bridesmaid proposal box. And in that letter, I outlined time commitments. So I told them if they live over an hour away, they didn't have to worry about making it to the bridal shower or to go wedding dress shopping with me. It was fine. I also specified money commitments. So I told them I would pay for their hair and makeup, but that they would be responsible for the cost of the bridesmaid dress. Although they had freedom as to what style they wanted, I just wanted a specific color. But most importantly, I told them that they could say no to being a bridesmaid, that we would Yes, I will share my transparency letter, but I want to emphasize that the reason behind my last video was more to introduce the concept of normalizing brides being transparent about what they expect from a bridal party and also to allow bridesmaids to say no if they don't want to be part of that commitment. So you probably want to pause the video because I don't have time to go through it all. And these were some frequently asked bridesmaid questions I decided to include. So if your thoughts are, oh, I would never ask that of somebody or I would never do that for someone else, then don't. Some brides want their bridesmaids to cover the cost of things that they're traditionally responsible for, like the wedding attire. Other brides want to be non-traditional and either have their bridesmaids cover nothing or everything. People are just different. Brides want different things. Bridesmaids expect different things. This is why I think a transparency letter is a good idea. That way everybody's on the same page. 